This is the corporate presentation of my latest crypto-related proxy. The name of the company is LQWD Technologies Corp. The ticker is LQWD on the TSX Venture in Canada and for the US investors under the OTC, the ticker is LQWDF. This company is involved in the Lightning Network and also has Bitcoin on its balance sheet. This presentation is from the 4th of September of 2024. Summary of the company. So it has 115 plus BTC. Actually, the real latest count of Bitcoin under their balance sheet is 136 Bitcoin. The company has no debt and the amount of share outstanding is 13.7 million. So LQW Secured Bitcoin Holding provides operational capital for the company. It is the main driver to expand and operate our Lightning Network infrastructure. We want to use Bitcoin to grow a big network of Lightning nodes, collect fees, and generate income that way and provide a service as a layer two on the Bitcoin chain. So like I indicated, the Lightning, ne the Lightning Network represents the layer two payment infrastructure constructed atop the Bitcoin blockchain, which facilitates immediate payments with a higher scalability. You have to keep in mind that that is for small transactions. It wants to do a little bit what Solana does, but keep in mind that Solana is an L1. But as of for Bitcoin, as the speed of the chain is seven transactions per minute, the Lightning Network, as of now, is one of the only ways to actually speed up small transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain with very small fee. Theoretically, you can achieve up to 1 million plus transactions per second on the Lightning Network. It has ways to go to get to that level, but it has the potential and regularly improvements are happening on the Lightning Network to achieve that type of TPS, which is the transactions per second. Just to give you a comparison, Sonana also is aiming towards 1 million transactions per second on its layer one blockchain. So this company states that since 2018, the investments in lightning related companies has increased dramatically. And I guess as the Bitcoin network evolves, we will see the lightning network grow, obviously depending on the different ways to accelerate transactions and if the Lightning Network gets adopted globally, it could be a huge way to generate Bitcoin fees and accumulate those fees within the Lightning companies that provide that service. So as of now, LQWD has approximately 20 nodes for global coverage. So it has established a network of over 1,100 Lightning channels with 39 BTC routing capacity and it's ranked number six in the world right now at that stage in September of 2024 as a Lightning Network provider. They also use AI to optimize the liquidity between the different nodes and ensure functionality of those channels effectively. So the company wants to provide that service and be able to collect fees from individuals to business, from business to individuals, from individuals to merchants, or from merchants to individuals. So that's the whole purpose of this. If the network grows exponentially, the fees will go exponentially. And as the fees are paid in Satoshis, that comes back to the company, generates more Bitcoin and then can then use that new Bitcoin, deploy more nodes and 
exponentially increase the payment network. So the transactions have been growing since 2022 at a very high pace for this company. So LQWD transactions are growing at the fastest rate, routing over 730 BTC and over 775,000 transactions as of September of 2024. So they're approaching 1 million transactions. And with more acquisition of Bitcoin, they just recently bought five extra Bitcoin. They will deploy more channels and increase the number of transactions that they can achieve monthly. So it's a highly scalable revenue model. As transaction volume increase, the liquidity and routing fees are also anticipated to scale and increase alongside the growth of the network. If there's growth of the network, there's growth in fees, and obviously the providers of that network will collect the fees as they increase in number, but also increase in price. We have seen that with Solana, who has very, very low fees, but because there's a lot of people who are using it, millions of transactions per day, well, those small fees become quite impressive when you multiply that by millions of transactions. So that's what they're aiming here with this company. They want to use the first mover advantage to grab as, mo as much of the network, be first mover, be present, and incorporate all kinds of companies. So that includes wallets, node operators, merchants, payment solutions, and liquidity services. As you see here, MicroStrategy is stated here. T-Mobile is stated here, Cash App. So they have already a network of different companies that are involved in the Lightning Network. Let's go back now and analyze the valuation of the company. So like indicated, as of October 29th, 2024, the company has 136 Bitcoin, that it has a value of $13.7 million Canadian, because it's a Canadian company. I wasn't able to find how much cash or debt this company has, but like we saw in the presentation, they don't seem to have debt but I do not know the cash levels of the company. The shares outstanding as of today is 16.22 million. The price of the shares is $1.34 and the market cap as of today is 21.7 million. So if you do a ratio of market cap over the value of the assets, so 21.7 million, divided by 13.7 million of the value of Bitcoin, you get a ratio of 1.58x, which is very, very close to one, therefore extremely undervalued related to their Bitcoin, Bitcoin position. And that's only evaluating the Bitcoin in the balance sheet of the company. We're not evaluating how much fees they can add to the balance sheet, also how much money they can borrow to buy more Bitcoin, how many shares they can issue to raise capital to buy more Bitcoin and actually extend their network. So there's a there's bunch of possibilities here for the company to quickly add value. Let's see how they proceed, but that's what I have found about the company.